Okay, I had a comment that on the uh, range for the electric car that we should use 12 12 volt batteries instead of 26 volt batteries. The 12 volts, 12 times 12 would be 144 volts, which is okay. Uh, and 6 times 20 would be 120 volts, but it isn't voltage we're concerned about here. It's kilowatt hours. And kilowatt hours are the voltage times the amperage. This is what we look for. So in order to get the same kilowatt hours, I would have to have 16 12 volt batteries, which would put me up to 192 volts. Uh, that would maybe be a little higher than I'd want to be, and most controllers won't go that high. Okay, to uh, make a comparison between 6 and 12 volt batteries, we need to compare kilowatt hours. Now, if you look here, I've highlighted this, it doesn't show up very much, but the T105 is a 6 volt battery. Uh, weighs 62 pounds, that's right over here. And the kilowatt hours, which is a 100 hour rate, is 1.5. Okay, there's 1.5 kilowatts, which is total power. That's voltage times amperage. Now, if I look down here, I've got a 12 volt battery right here. And the kilowatt hours on it are 1.86. Okay, uh, and it weighs about 78 pounds because it's a little bit. Uh, 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 heavier. Okay, but there's not a lot of difference in the kilowatt hours between the two batteries. So if I use 12 12 volt deep cycle batteries uh, or 20 6 volt deep cycle batteries, let's make a comparison and find out exactly what uh, the kilowatt hours would be on them. Okay, hopefully this little sheet will make sense. Uh, let's go over the top of this. If I use 6 volt batteries, they're 1.5 kilowatt hours, and I use 20 of them, I'll get 30 kilowatt hours. Now that's total power. Remember, voltage times amperage is uh, kilowatts. If I use 12 volt, they're 1.86 kilowatt hours per battery. I would need 16 to get 29.8 kilowatt hours, which is essentially would be the same as the 20. Uh, the 6 and 12 volt batteries are about the same size. What that means is because the 12 volt battery has got twice as many cells, meaning it's 2 or 2.2 uh, volts per cell, it's got 6, where the uh, 6 volt only has 3. Now that, it's kind of important because these uh, plates being closer together like this, they're going to warp easier. And they warp because they overheat when we're under high discharge. Now these things discharge fairly fast when you run the car, especially if you're accelerating or going uphill. And if the plates warp, they break and they fall apart. So uh, the 12 volt battery being about the same physical size as a 6 volt, it's not going to dissipate the heat as easily. So 6 volt batteries make sense in this case. You, the kilowatt hours is what you're looking for. Now if I did as this, uh, as this shows to get the same kilowatt hours out of uh, these both these battery packs, the 6 volt would be 120 volts and the 12 volt would be uh, 192. Uh, if you can use 192, it's okay. Uh, a lot of the motors aren't really designed for that high a voltage. Uh, and the higher the voltage, the more problems with brushes you have. Uh, you need voltage. You need voltage to push the amps through. But uh, that's maybe a little bit high for a lot of applications. 
I hope this makes sense. Uh, that's that kilowatt hours is what you're looking for. And to get that same kilowatt hours, you're going to have to use more batteries with 6 volt than you do with 12 volt, but because the batteries are larger, they will dissipate heat faster uh, when they're discharged or even when they're charged. It's the same, uh, same situation. So that's why we use 6 volt. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't use 12 volt. I've seen guys do it, and it does work. And some of the more expensive batteries, uh, lead-acid batteries what I'm talking about, some of those uh, actually work fairly well, but they're so much more expensive than your golf cart batteries that it may be an issue when you're uh, trying to build a car. I think my battery pack cost uh, around, I believe it was $1,600. And if I was to use uh, high-end lead-acid batteries, I'd be looking at maybe two to three times that much. So that's why it's done that way. Uh, you cannot increase range simply by using 12-volt batteries because you won't have the kilowatt hours. If I used uh, a smaller number of batteries at 12-volt, that would not mean that I would get the same kilowatt hours. I hope it makes sense. Uh, but that's my explanation on it. Okay, before I leave this thing, I wanted to uh, make a comparison of these uh, battery weights. So if I had 6 volt batteries and I was using 20, they're 62 pounds a piece. So 20 times 62 is 1240. If I had 12 volt batteries, they weigh 78 pounds and I would need 16 to get the same kilowatt hours. So I end up with 1248. So I really don't have a lot of difference in uh, weight per kilowatt hours. And I don't think you would really uh, gain anything by putting smaller numbers of batteries in there because you'd simply lose the, uh, the kilowatt hours. So that's pretty much it on the uh, batteries uh, and why we're using what we're using. And any comments are welcome.